Hi, this is Fernando. I'll show you how to troubleshoot your web services using a TCP monitor. So first, uh, I'll show you my client that consumes the web services, which is CMSDR show as your report, and that's my service. Uh, the function I'm calling is show SDR. So I'll show you how it works. You select an application name. Uh, the starting date of the report and an ending date so I'll get an XML report uh, between that period so that's the XML response but what we want to have is, is to be able to view the SOAP, SOAP messages so for that I'll use TCP monitor so you just have to set up a port to listen to I'll, I'll be using one, two, three, four, and um, what you have to do then is to configure your client. You just have to send everything to port one, two, three, four, and as I configure here, it will be resent to server port eighty, which is uh, HTTP port. So done that. Uh, I'll save it and try that again. So, oh, I'll just do the same query. So yeah, I got my response here, and I'm able to see all the swap envelope. Well, I have the headers here, the swap envelope that I sent, XML data, and I have the response headers here and my SOAP so envelope response in here that can be very useful to debug uh, what if we have uh, troubles with our service? well, I'll just give you an example uh, I'll just do a, a, a syntax error let's just modify some code here and I'll try that again we should have an error here and be able to troubleshoot it so I'll show the XML response ok no response that completely normal so the data we sent was correct and we have the error here which is the function not in function table blah 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 so that means it's not finding that function we're calling um, yeah, that's because we we made that on purpose. But yeah, that's basically how you can monitor your your TCP port and troubleshoot your web services. Thank you.